In this tutorial, we will guide you on advanced customization techniques for your pre-existing template in Fast Reporter 3, including the addition of different fields to your reports. Please be aware that this tutorial does not include the customization options, like logo insertion or color adjustments. For basic knowledge, please consult the FR3 tutorial on how to modify a template. Upon opening your copy of the template you wish to customize, you will discover all the syntax that has been applied in the file. It is important to note that each sign and symbol carries a specific meaning. In order to access the configuration options, you will need to click on the configurations tab located at the bottom of the sheet. Please note that it may be necessary to unhide the tab by performing a right click and selecting the unhide option. Once the configurations tab is visible, after pressing the control A key on your keyboard and selecting the unhide option, you will see additional information. When you inspect the cell named a range, it presents a reference. For instance, cells A, 34 and M, 35 in the spreadsheet serve as the cell references for the configuration. It is recommended to highlight the relevant cells prior to making changes to your spreadsheet. By doing so, you will gain a better understanding of the configurations as modifications are made. Additionally, it is advisable to review the hidden rows in your report before adding any new ones, as adding a new row can once again impact the existing structure. You may now proceed with the customization of your sheet. To incorporate different data into your report, the first step is to open the universal sheet and review the list of supported tags. To proceed, you will need to open your file explorer and navigate to the program data folder located under the C drive. Please note that this file may be hidden. If so, please access the View tab, verify that the Hidden Items option is enabled, and proceed to select Program Data, XFO, and either Fast Reporter 3 or 2, based on your installed versions. Lastly, locate and select the file displaying the version currently in use. You then select the Universal Sheet file. When you open it, you will be provided with access to the diverse range of syntax options available for all the various test sets. So, in case there is any data that your template cannot capture, and you want that information to be displayed on your report, you can utilize the supported syntax provided here. Next, you will need to examine the spreadsheet and locate the information you wish to display on your sheet. Please be aware that the lists are arranged based on the type of Expo devices. If you already know what you are searching for, you can quickly search using the find and replace function and input the relevant keyword. Upon finding it, proceed by selecting the cell and then, from the formula field, copy and paste the syntax into a blank cell in your template. Make sure to use the appropriate standard symbols before and after introducing new syntax to the sheet based on the desired data. Here are the main syntax symbols for your reference. You will need to add them as prefixes and suffixes to the field name while designing your templates. You can then add the title of the data that will be shown. In order to add an extra row, you simply have to insert a row, but it is important to remember that you will later have to update the range. To remove rows, you can select them and simply delete. If the row is located below the highlighted field, there is no need to make any updates. To move rows, you can begin by selecting the desired rows. Once selected, copy the rows and then choose the specific row where you wish to place them. Finally, right-click and select Insert Copied Cells from the menu. If you want to delete a column within the table, you can easily accomplish this by selecting the column, right-clicking, then click Delete and then from the option choose Shift Cells Left. Know that you can use conditional formatting to show pass-fail results in various colors when generating the report. To verify whether there is already a conditional formatting applied to your sheet, you can navigate to the conditional formatting option in the toolbar and select Manage Rules to access the existing rules. Once you have finished customizing your template, it is important to update the range if extensive modifications have been made to your sheet. To proceed, you should return to the highlighted cells in order to view the new range. Then, access your configuration sheet and update the cell reference for the range based on this new range. Once you have made the necessary updates, you can unhighlight the cells and hide the corresponding row. You can save the template by clicking the Save button. To view the final result of your custom template, you need to navigate back to Fast Reporter 3 and click on Select. 
Then, locate your custom folder where you have previously saved your template, and you will be able to view and examine your personalized template.